Laura Schiff. I work here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium, and today is World Venturon Day. Behind me, we have Cade. He is one of our Venturon trainers. Hey everyone, so my name is Cade, and I take care of Minoy. Um, Minoy, I think, is the best Venturon for several reasons. As you can see right now, he is very energetic. So him and his brother Barani are the same age. They're four years old, so they are very much like little kids and Minoy loves to get into things and cause a mess. He's kind of chaos incarnate and I really enjoy that about him. He is difficult at times to work with, but that just makes it all the more amazing whenever you whenever you're able to figure him out and figure out his nature. So even though he's um, a little chaotic and a little high energy, it's it's a pleasure to work with him and he is a very unique personality. And I usually train Barani. So my favorite Venturon is Barani. Barani, so you can see he's right here. He's the one that I think is coming to the target now. Um, you see he's got a little bit of gold around his face. That's an easy way to tell him apart from his brother, Minoy, over here. Um, Barani is just such a cool guy. Um, one of the things that's amazing about him is that he is really motivated by his curiosity. Of course, all animals are naturally curious. If they didn't want to explore their environment, they would never find the things that they need in their environment. But I don't know if I've ever met an animal who is quite so motivated by finding new things and by doing new things. Um, so when I began training Barani, it was actually a little bit difficult for me to build a relationship. A lot of animals I've worked with, um, that relationship builds very quickly as you offer food. However, food is not all that Barani wants. He really wants uh, some interaction. He wants novel stimuli. So I started having to do things like bring in a funny hat for him to uh, be able to smell or um, anything that made noise. Um, and those things really helped him associate me with things that he likes. Um, they helped me build that relationship. So he's pretty cool because he's so curious. Um, we call him our bold Bincheron. Um, of the two, he's a little bit more mellow. He's uh, gonna kind of take life sitting back a little bit, whereas his brother is a little bit more high strung. So if you ask me, Ronnie is the very best in Toronto. So as you can see, Kay is asking for behaviors and they are choosing to offer those behaviors. And when they make that choice, they receive a reinforcer. So this is part of offering conditioning. Um, basically, we focus on positive reinforcement training here. The point of positive reinforcement training is that the animal always has a choice whether or not they want to engage. One of the amazing things about positive reinforcement training is that it gives the control back to the animal. We try to let the animal decide when things happen, if they want to participate, um, it also gives them that sense of accomplishment. They um, tend to be less fearful in new situations. They tend to be more curious, more willing to investigate new things. So it's just good all around. Another benefit of positive reinforcement training is that it allows them to participate in their own health care. So you can see that Kate is doing a lot of behaviors with them where he asks them to present different body parts. Right now he just asked Harani for his paw. And when Harani offers his paw, it gives us trainers a chance to look at that paw, make sure there are no abrasions on it, make sure it's looking healthy. One of the amazing things about having animals voluntarily participate in their own health care is that you actually get a better look at the animal's health when they're not stressed. So these guys do have favorite treats that they like to train for. Um, generally, we use berries. They love grapes and they love blueberries. Um, sometimes we'll mix it up a little, we'll add a little banana, a little bit of pear, a little bit of melon. Um, these guys love fruit. So thank you for joining us. We're so glad that we could share a little bit about our Vintrons with you. They're truly amazing animals and we're so happy that you get a chance to get a little bit of a look at them. Again, I'm Laura Schiff uh, saying hi from the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. Happy World Vintron Day.